and IR simultaneously started their violin and painting careers and had their first mother-child performance and art exhibit three years ago. With no formal lessons in art, they were still able to sell majority of their artworks. What makes the phantom tick? There is nothing like the bond that exists between a Filipino mother and child. They're united more than just by blood. It is love beyond explanation, nurtured by togetherness and concern. Such is the relationship of mother and child, Ilma and I are Barayuga. Theirs is strengthened by a bond as profound and passionate as love, the arts. We do a lot of things together. It's easier to, you know, to bring him to do something because we're doing it together. The disadvantage is pag nagsabay yung sumpong namin, yun, like, and we're both Virgo, we're both, uh, you know, we're both very passionate, we're both very, you know, so minsan nagka-clash kami. Sometimes we go violent also, physically. My mom understands me more easier than, you know, Ilma was enjoying a hectic but fruitful career in the theater when she had IR. Even if she was a hesitant mother then, who couldn't be happier, especially after watching her son grow into a prolific musician at a very young age. Hindi ko plinano, but maybe because I created the environment since he was in my womb and since he was a child. As artists, they practically speak the same language. However, mothers will always be mothers, and children, children. I believe that the, all uh, achievers and all artists, all probably athletes, behind that is a parent who nags, who constantly nags and tells them and reminds them to do this. E even to a point that, you know, uh, ayaw na talaga nila and we have to constantly remind them. <laughs> I see other kids out playing, you know, Having for, I have to stay in the house and practice for about two to four hours a day. Which sometimes gives Ilma a hard time balancing her act as a mother and a fellow artist to growing IR. Sometimes my being an artist wants him to just go on with what he wants. But my being a mother would have to tell him that there, there's a limit, otherwise he can go into trouble, he can get into trouble. Aside from music, I.R. is also hooked into swimming and theater acting. Despite his seemingly busy childhood, I.R. still enjoys the simple pleasures of growing up. I, I can play on weekends. I, I could uh, uh, spend more time outside and playing the violin. Sometimes I don't have lessons. I, I play outside instead of practicing. Any parent couldn't be prouder for having a son like I.R. Ilma always makes sure he's in his best, and she does this through her own brand of stage mothering. Sometimes uh, when I perform, I ah, yeah, hear artist and bringing out the best in him. Not all people can play the violin or feel good about it. And negative one is, you know, it's not. Inevitably, I.R. is growing to be an adorable young man. And ask him, How long will your mama be the only girl in your life? Next, <laughs> Next month. <laughs> what Ilma and I.R. share is nothing extraordinary. It's just letting love bloom between them in the most artistic and trusting way. All mothers experience the same same things that I experienced, except probably the fact that I wanted so much to make uh, child rearing an art. So it was more a challenge to me. But I guess if all parents and all mothers would decide to make it an art form, then I think that anything is possible. IR has very few words for his mother. I love you. <laughs> and Ilma could not imagine less how life could have been without IR. I feel that he's the one who tamed my life. He's the one who gave focus to my life. They make music together, paint together, mature together as artists. 
And alongside with this, is growing together as a mother and child. After all, being such is already an art in itself. We sincerely hope you enjoyed today's episode of Filipiniana. Join me again next time as we explore the multifaceted aspects of Philippine life. I'm Cesar Dillon. Mabuhay.